stream. Tonight I'll be continuing my analysis of, uh, of my games from the Turkish Open World Cup, which took place from 7 till 14th of March. Um, the previous video I uh, uh, spent solely on the game against uh, Vitalia Dumes from the first round. Uh, that took me two hours. I uh, hoped it would be a bit quicker. Um, that's what I'm going to try uh, tonight. Anyway, I uh, hope it will be interesting. Um, in the same way, I hoped to start a bit earlier tonight, but due to some technical problems with my... Uh, sanitary facilities, so to say. I couldn't make it earlier. There was a, a leakage, I had to solve it. But yeah, anyway, I wanted to stream tonight, so I guess I should do that. So the game against uh, Matrona Nogovicina strong uh, player from Yakutia um, one of the strongest female players in the world I believe although she never really shown uh, at the world championship I didn't check it but I think once she finished top three maybe third in don't know where it was. I think it was in the beginning of the of the last uh, decade, 2012-2013, something like this. Um, anyway, strong player, tough to beat, especially for grandmasters. Um, I heard uh, Guntis Vanuys once uh, say. Um, She's really unbeatable. Well, um, luckily it proved otherwise in this tournament. And um, yeah, I will show my game. My game plan was more or less to play normal, technical, because uh, in the game I saw, in her games, I saw that. Um, Oftentimes she lost in a rather normal, strategic way. And in the games that opponents tried to make some interesting battle, actually then she could keep up, because um, she has very good calculation skills. But sometimes uh, misjudges um, the uh, position. So... Uh, my hope was to gain advantage, uh, perhaps from the opening, and then play a slow game. Um, yeah, and hope to get uh, chances like that. I was playing black. Um, most popular opening ever, I guess. 1621. Um, move that was... Uh, popularized by Rubel Boomstra, I believe. And um, yeah, I also started to play it uh, last year, I guess, or maybe maybe even before that, but I was quite successful with it on the Dutch Championship last year in two games against Hein Meyer, in which I missed a very special win winning uh, a maneuver and against Jos Stockel. It was a game uh, which I managed to win. And I hope that uh, uh, my opponent wouldn't uh, be aware of those games since uh, Yakutia is far away from uh, from the Netherlands and uh, Perhaps not all the games are studied there. Anyway, 
on one of the normal moves. Of course, if it goes to the edge, I go can go two for two. And the white is left with the edge piece. And um, 35-30, which is an uh, active move. Uh, sometimes she would play rather passive, so I did expect perhaps 32-28. All right away, after which um, yeah, black has to to make a choice how to proceed. Usually, black could uh, play 18-22 as I did in the game. I think there was a game. A Prisman against uh, Ruhl Boomster in Salau, which went like this, with the plan to play 11, 16, 16, 21 afterwards. Um, but I can imagine here 20, 24, 5, 10 is also possible. Um, back to the game, 35, 30, and this move is uh, kind of active and um, are recommended. Because after 2025, as I played in the game, white can nicely develop and on next move always play 3024. Um, even if 13 or 1419 are played with the 2 for 2. So, yeah, um, looks like a pretty solid attacking position for white with no uh, weaknesses. The only thing is that, uh, as you see in the game, proceed like this. There may be one piece missing on this wing. Um, oops. With another piece on 31, it would be even more stable. White uh, waited with playing 3024, but it doesn't uh, matter much because. I didn't have time to block with 13-19 or 14-19 anyway. Uh, one moment... I see already some people in the chat. Viqueen and Art of Drafts. Hello, thank you for watching. Um, if you have any questions, let me know about uh, this game or about anything else connected to drafts. Where was I? So yeah, <coughs> this wing isn't uh, uh, ideally developed and after 37, 31 black can always play this exchange which is uh, uh, beneficial because for example if white plays like this Because now um, this black piece is uh, strong against these two white pieces. On the one hand, uh, black threatens to go in between, more or less. And on the other hand, if white attacks, black gets a strong uh, four post on 27, blocking two pieces. So this kind of miniature uh, um, configuration of pieces is always something that you you would like, especially if you don't have a piece on sixteen yourself. It's a, something again. It's more or less like one against two, which means you have another uh, piece on the rest of the board. Um, so it would mean that the white has to play like this, and if I uh, recall correctly. Then during the game, I was wondering uh, whether I could even um, temporarily sacrifice this piece in order to uh, take this short wing lock. It's more often possible than you might actually think, because now seven black and twenty seven twelve and. And there's no way white can um, easily make use 
of the, the free temp. Perhaps something like this is the best in order to uh, attack and go to the attacking square on the next uh, move. But now black has nicely developed uh, his pieces on this wing. So black's position is a bit more uh, uh, balanced. I'm going back to the game. A uh, normal move, 30, 24, 6, 11. Now with the ID after 37, 31, just to uh, wait, 11, 16, keep, keep the tensions. Um, I believe different moves have been played by white here in previous games. Um, could be either 37, 31, uh, even 34, 29, but also quite uh, solid is 34, 30, 40 times 29, because black may attack uh, a white's four post, but a white is always able to defend. Um, so after this exchange, um, Black usually uh, sets up a, a surrounding of some kind. I believe this was a game between Heinmeier playing white and uh, Rulbomstra black from one of the championships, uh, Dutch championships, I mean. And what makes this surrounding feasible is that uh, there's a nice piece on square five still, which uh, stops any attacks on this wing and yeah white is a little bit weakened here but well I can imagine that if white plays plays this very solidly there is nothing to gain for black. Right, let's get to the, back to the game. 40 35. That's always a move to keep the position more or less open. Um, but yeah, I don't think it's uh, it's ever a, a really strong move. I mean, you create a weak piece yourself. Uh, of course, I didn't want to allow this three for three. Thirty-four, thirty. Now I was lucky that I had uh, had this position in a training game before, I believe. In which I was actually white. Um, so I had already thought about uh, what are the uh, possible ideas for black in this position because um, yeah, it might be uh, hard to... Uh, uh, it's always kind of hard to just um, get some solid counterplay against this um, fake um, formation so to say because right now it's not doing much it's just standing there but it's also hard to to counter as soon as you move to 19 it can be developed and um, yeah also ch changing is not really what you want to do um, 1420 is kind of logical, but I decided to wait one move because I didn't see 1325 as a threat, so I played 1116 with the idea that if uh, uh, White would play this move, which I believe I did in this training game. Um, Black can somehow uh, transition into a, a, a very active position himself. Now threatening uh, 27-31. So what should choose between 37-32 and... Um, sorry, 37-31. Um, after 37-32 
black will just uh, make a temp, perhaps exchange this piece forward and uh, bring most pieces to this wing with a nice position after 37-31 which seems kind of uh, um, the most principal, most interesting move um, black might exchange forward followed by exchange forward again and well having some kind of attacking position it's not not uh, very dangerous for white because there are no there's no weak uh, edge piece here but at least black pieces are in the center and um, this position looks a bit more active perhaps well, these are all questions, I don't know. So, 44, 49. Uh, here again I was thinking about 27, 21. Because it uh, forces quite, it forces at least one move. Because, again, threatens. And now 37, 32 loses because of 14, 20. So, uh, White has to play here. And if I would then follow the same plan... I was, um, yeah, unsatisfied if White just changes uh, forward, um, thereby developing these pieces, and at the same time threatening with uh, more exchanges. And well, I definitely wouldn't want to place seven eleven here because um, yeah, it's just in the wrong direction. And then after that, 50, 44, I st again I have to uh, take 33, 29 into account. So I guess this was the moment for 14, 20 to develop my weak piece on uh, on 10. And yeah, I remember also this time at this position, I took quite some time to think, like, what is my plan what what kind of uh, build up should i choose would it be 12 18 7 12 or rather be uh, 13 18 7 11 1 6 uh, would it be smart at some point to exchange to 27 yeah all these kind of uh, questions this formation again doesn't do much, but um, then again, it's, it stands. It is there. It stands there, and together with the uh, with the strong center, it can do some some damage. So I had the feeling I had to be careful to play precise if I wanted to to get any. Uh, any chances and for example right now changing like this to sort of weaken weaken this wing wouldn't help because white uh, nicely develops so I knew that at least I had to uh, yeah wait until the pieces on on this line would perhaps go in this direction because um, um, the main way of playing is still f away from this uh, weak formation in that direction. Okay, 10-14, rather neutral move. Um, not always the case, I can tell you, because 7-11, uh, another waiting move. And this is why 10-14 is not always a neutral move, because now suddenly white uh, threatens. Try to remove this. 32, 27, and 24, 19. May not be winning, but yeah, it's uh, it's annoying enough. Um, at the same time, uh, 21, 26 isn't too active because white might just uh, play this piece centrally and then go forward. After which will be hard for black to 
uh, damage this this center in any way. I think here white has a proper um, yeah way of reinforcing her position, and uh, ideal way for white would also be f f that piece forty five gets into play. This is also potentially a weak piece. Would be better if it's uh, more centered. Uh, luckily, I had another move to neutralize this threat. Thirteen eighteen. Uh, 45 40 it gets this piece a little makes the piece a little bit active 1 6 another waiting move uh, of course 40 34 is not good now because of 14 20 20 25 um, anytime uh, white plays for the 126 I will uh, move up and then play against these weak pieces I think 42 37 is um, that kind of configuration would already allow me to try something like 21 26 and 17 22 times 21 or 22 and then this configuration doesn't look good perhaps at this moment 42 47 is also met by 1822 um, yeah that's also a way to to play against this uh, this formation together with the center to repeatedly uh, attack via 1420 or 1822 and in that way uh, yeah try to damage these pieces in this variation it's very uh, quite visible I think 39-33 still possible after this this looks very dangerous um, yeah I might want to play something else here but already this uh, damages uh, White's position quite severely these pieces have gone out of have kind of lost their uh, uh, right direction. Don't know if this is the best example because white still is pretty close to the central squares. And this seems to have a quite uh, solid uh, build up of the position, but well, just as a, as a general idea, black might better wait here or play the plan is which I mentioned before uh, white play logical 39 33 um, forcing me to make some some decision 9 13 or 8 13 is still impossible because of 32 27 uh, also for 14 20 I thought it was too uh, too early because I'm not uh, forcing a very big uh, decision by white and as long as I can keep this configuration against uh, the formation uh, it's always good it's always nicer to have piece four there then for example in such a case which basically leads to the same position um, but now without piece on four and um, yeah concretely that would mean th that uh, even 2419 is possible here so I'd like to uh, keep this construction as long as possible also and at this point I was rather satisfied with the move I could play 2126 because here there is some um, there are some matters for for white um, saying that there is no free temp in with which uh, white uh, doesn't um, how to say spoil anything because the f the f 
most free temp there is would be 30, 43, 39. This is also the move I expected, but still it means that uh, one piece from this line goes uh, behind the rest of the pieces here. More or less in the wrong direction because white's playing direction is also like that. Um, yeah, I expected. Yeah, both both possibilities could be here if White wanted to play passively. Taking deck, taking backwards could be uh, an option. But then, yeah, I would probably exchange to the center. And yeah, to. White lost influence in the center here. And for example, if White would try to take it back like this, um, it's already visible that there are a lot of more holes in the center. These pieces are quite far away. Then Black might come again. And after this move, it could be either this or. White will never be able to, to really freely play 30-24, especially if uh, Black can afford 15-20 here. I don't know, perhaps not. But this has uh, some general general ideas. Move and Black can here. Black should really uh, think. I think most standard way to proceed would be. 17 uh, 22 times 21 it's kind of the the meta so to say uh the idea of why the text go forward and have a nice uh, clean position and after uh logic of 33 28 i guess normal move would be 21 26 Go like this, like this, and then to develop these pieces. And again, um, black has action um, between species at least at the moment, and yeah, white might be able to play actively and uh, keep it more or less equal. I believe this can be. Perhaps nicely compared to uh, this position. Well, let me think. In another variant in which White uh, took a piece backwards first. Kind of a standard move, but I didn't see what White uh, could do. Ideas to. Play 21 26 on the next move and give white some uh, problems with making moves because there's one waiting move and then after this uh, white has to yeah play something uh, difficult so to say. Um, after 48 42 I should have a uh, so that's also not possible to close this gap. And uh, 31, 27, 21, 26 also uh, um, creates rather a shaky, uh, shaky position for. Let me think. Uh, white should be careful and take this opportunity and um, go out against this uh, world champion because it's a nice uh, nice chance 
Ah, Art of Drafts is actually referring to a Gurgiev game. It's, yes, indeed, in uh, mm. make him a little bit immobile there. That could be followed by 15-20. I'm not really sure about that position. But another... So then not 2-7. Another idea could be 1218, but it doesn't work after 37, 32. I want to play 1823, but white can play, can take these two pieces. So this this seems to be uh, to the center, and 1520 makes sense to me to prevent. Well, maybe in the end uh, this is a quite a good uh, um, counter to this plan. Well, I said it, it 1621 is not uh, the meta, not, uh, not the standard move. But still, I believe there should be something for. for or black. Either after fourteen twenty. So yeah, well, still interesting uh, position for analysis. Deserves uh, a better look. So far, I haven't really found a satisfactory plan for black. If anyone sees uh, a good idea, let me know. So 2-7 was met by 28-23, I thought. Also, I don't know what what I expect planned after 37-32. Interesting kind of idea would be nine thirteen. Well, doesn't well. There are some some ideas. For example, thirty four twenty. Um, of course, big question is what follows after thirty seven thirty two. Six eleven eleven sixteen is not possible because of twenty eight twenty three and twenty four nineteen, but. Perhaps this is an idea. Black will regain uh, the piece, but uh, yeah, sometimes there is such an idea like seventeen twenty one. I can actually just uh, perform. White at this point there is uh, unlucky situation that White has a defender at 49, so this doesn't work. Would be nice though. Like before. With which could also be get very dangerous for black. It's just some uh, free playing. Eleven, sixteen, twenty three, twenty nineteen. Well all, all too bad. Another variation from chat after six eleven. Eleven sixteen. Let's get there. Forty. Yeah. Approach. And now four ten instead of yeah. 
I mentioned that 914 is not possible and that's why 410 might be uh, better. Always nice to have some talented players in the chat. Uh, quite interesting. Um, quite, uh, quite deviating from the game now, but... Um, yeah, this would be another interesting interesting way of playing. I mean, uh, I guess I should go back to the to the game because this is a whole different story. Um, there should be games with positions similar to these in which, uh, and because there's this nice piece on four, also the exchange. 2420 and 3328 is never really a problem. Uh, and the game in the move, 1217. Don't recall my exact um, thoughts, but. And what can I say? Well, 2 7 it allows 29 23 at the moment because afterwards uh, white threatens 31 27. Nice combination I do after 2 7 is 2 7 is 38 33. And although it doesn't look like uh, black can easily go there, uh, still it's 18 20. Perhaps not even a winning king, but well, looks good. At least it's a nice idea. Um, I think I wouldn't mind 31, 26, 21, 27. And I would be quick to attack the piece on 23, my 9, 14 and 13, 19. Not to say losing. Uh, and it gives a it's a nice illustration of uh, how uh, for 45 moves now we've played for 34 moves and well as I recall we both had some uh, not a lot of time maybe about 10 minutes for these last moves so yeah this was also becoming quite a big factor um, my plan is clear 9 14 13 19 and uh, see what happens. Uh, it might look like that 2318 is possible. Um, but let me think. Why did I think so? Because after 1319, why? can try to win back. This piece, but it's just not in time, I guess. Eleven sixteen, and uh, white comes again, black defends again. Yeah, should be. It's not the way that w in which white will play. So, a bit strange, I would say, because it's clear that uh, white, black will go. White will take this two for two, which is favorable for for black. So all in all, I thought I should have uh, uh, ideas to attack the piece. So, coming back to this moment, I will not go into too much detail. There is, uh, instead of 38-32, there are two things that white can do. It's either 30-25 or 30-24, after which I will take this, and 38-32, which leaves uh, white with one more temp uh, than in the game. And, well, it's hard to say... Uh, how it matters, 
this might seem a bit illogical because I cannot well I cannot force 1420 because 2621 but yeah still 49 and now after 2419 just to go away which leaves uh, white with this piece on 19 which is also rather a uh, co-occupation of 14 and 25 is just as bad as the co-occupation of 24 and 35 so I decided to uh, decide the game or at least I saw the idea so uh, white has to choose how to defend her piece makes sense to move up to 38 Play four nine to forty eight. Um, this is more or less logical. Eight thirteen, and I believe uh, black is better anyway. But um, position is not. Or bl uh, black is now that after. Uh, Removing again one uh, one defender, it might be possible to transition to 27 and still with one strong piece against three uh, white pieces. Of course, pieces on 11 and a strong piece. Also still because uh, whites should pay attention to the plan of, of attacking the piece on 23. Um, and after 30-24 it looks just... Um, I could play that. Now 9-13 might be met by 35-30 because 14-20 is impossible because of 37-32. But um, yeah, another plan for black is to move 17-22. In nine fourteen could be three eight, perhaps three eight. And yeah, it's, although white's position looks active perhaps with these pieces, it's not so clear how how it should begin and in such a variation like thirty eight, thirty three. Could even consider eleven seventeen. With a nice uh, yeah ending this piece. These three pieces are still there and blocked by the king. 22-27 uh, makes sense. Which gives a rather funny, funny look, for example, here. 15-20 might even be strong, so maybe 30-24 is... Uh, more adequate 2227 yeah and uh, one might think white played a nice attacking game uh, gained control over 24 and 20